it's Jamie with JVI Secret Gardens and I'm actually not at the garden center today. I'm in my own yard because I am here to share some tips and tricks for colder weather landscape and yard ideas. Let's get ready for colder weather. The first step is, and you can tell I've got some work to do, get your leaves raked up. This does a couple things. One, it gets them out of your yard and it's gonna help protect against mold and fungus. If they stay here and get wet, they can really spread some terrible stuff throughout your yard. Two, they make great compost. Organic leaf material like this breaks down easily, makes great compost, and best of all, it's free. Plus, once you get your leaves raked up, you'll get a clearer view of your yard. You can see if you have any bald spots, and then you can sow grass seed, because now is also a great time to plant grass. And speaking about sowing grass, Fescue is a super common grass here in Tennessee, and like I said, it's a great time to plant. It'll go dormant around 50 degrees, but we're still gonna have some warmer weather that's gonna get this grass seed started and growing, and you're gonna have a great head start in the spring and a nice pretty lawn. Now is a great time to either lay down compost or mulch as well. We've got our compost. It's been cooking all summer. Pretty excited about it. Compost is A, gonna give some nutrients back into the ground, get you ready for spring planting. It's also gonna add a protective layer to keep things a little bit warmer. If you don't have a compost bin, totally fine. You Use some mulch around tender plants and it'll keep them just a little bit warmer through those colder months and give them a better chance of survival. Finally, let's talk water. One thing you definitely want to do before you put everything up for the winter is give your plants a good drink. They might be dormant, they might not be producing as much, but they still need a good drink of water. Especially plants like this tree that we just planted this spring that aren't super, super established yet. Once you give them a good drink, don't forget to water them occasionally throughout the winter, especially if we have a dry spell. I know I've talked about, don't forget to water your house plants in this video, don't forget to check that out. But your outside plants need water too, especially if we've had a dry fall. Always drain your hoses and get the water out of them so the hoses don't freeze, they can crack. Worst of all, you just don't have access to your water when you need it. So make sure your water hoses are empty, coiled up, and ready for your next use. And speaking of water, if you happen to have a water feature in your yard, be it a koi pond, a waterfall, a fountainscape, we always recommend leave that pump running 24 seven all year long. If you turn it off, water can collect in your pump freeze and what does water do when it freezes it expands it can crack and damage your pump and your feature won't be working plus if it's running you get some really cool ice features and if you're interested in more tips we actually have a whole video on how to winterize your pond for colder temps check it out that's all i got for today y'all best of luck getting your yard and landscape ready for winter y'all know the drill like comment share subscribe let us know what questions you have in our comments right down below thank y'all so much for hanging out with me in my yard today maybe you can come back when it's warmer we'll have a little barbecue until next time, I'm Jamie with JVI Seeker Gardens. Happy gardening!